let's take a look at the midterm study guide here. Number one, short answers count for 20% of the grade. Long responses count for 80% of the grade. The short answers are in this table here, and 20% of your midterm grade will be um, your uh, responses to the short answers. Um, now I say short, you need to give me three distinct relevant details uh, for each of these short responses. Okay, I'm going to give you five of these on the midterm, and you would need to give me all five. You give responses to all five. Each of your five responses, three distinct relevant details. Um, <clears throat> there could be a lot more than three answers that you could put down. So nobody has to scratch their head wondering, what are the three things my history teacher uh, is going to give me credit for on this exam? No, there, there's a lot of different things. Um, just make sure that they're distinct. Okay, I don't want you repeating yourself three times. Uh, okay, so each of your three responses uh, uh, would be distinct and then relevant. Make You know, why are these things mentioned in class? Uh, it, what What makes these concepts uh, important in history. Uh, for example, as far as distinct, um, mixed constitution. Don't just tell me as one of your three distinct and relevant details that it has to deal with constitutions. Okay, that's just repeating. That's not a distinct point. That's just repeating the term itself. Okay. Uh, long responses. Long response, you need to write one page for each of your long responses, and that would be an eight and a half by 11 page. I realize that different people write uh, differently. Some people will stretch three words to be, you know, on each line. Uh, other people will uh, write more concisely, and others will write uh, and need more words to get their point across. So one page, one eight and a half by 11 page, is basically a guide or a goal. I say one page because I don't want people writing three or four sentences thinking that they've answered the question adequately, okay? So just shoot for a page, and if you give me two-thirds of a page or three-fourths, that's okay. Um, you can still get a lot of credit, and writing a full page doesn't guarantee that you're going to get an A on that response, okay? Again, I'm judging on content. I don't do a word count here, all right? Um, but again, uh, one full page uh, for the long responses is just a goal, a goal to shoot for. Okay, I've just covered number two. Number three, as far as which of these will be on the midterm, <clears throat> on your short responses, okay, I am going to pick five of these short responses, and on the midterm, you're going to need to respond to all five. Right, so you're not going to have any choice. You need to be ready for any and all of these. Now, the long responses, what on the midterm you're going to need to give me four of them, but I'm going to put five or six of them down. Okay, uh, don't just study four because I may leave out two or three, and uh, if it's not your lucky day, you know you may be up the creek. So uh, again, I will put five or six down. So you know, you only need to answer four. So if there's one that just, you know, is difficult for you to wrap your brain around, that's okay. That's not going to kill your grade. You will have some choice on the uh, the one-page long responses, okay? Uh, but again, the long responses are going to be 80% of your grade. So if you're going to budget your study time, I would put at least 80% of your study time preparing you to write down the long responses because that's going to be 80% of your study of, of your grade. Okay. All right. Uh, if you haven't gotten your blue books already, make sure you get them for next when uh, I'm sorry, next Thursday. And one last point, if you go back up to the, uh, to the short responses, the top row, these three, uh, we haven't done yet in class. We are going to cover those three on Tuesday. Okay, so if you don't have anything in your notes on those three, don't worry. We will touch on that on Tuesday. Um, and then, of course, Thursday would be the midterm. Okay, have a great weekend, and see you Tuesday.